The Kenya Film Classification Board's Coastal Region Coordinator, Bonventure Kiyoko, says it is against the law to distribute pirated films, considering their adverse effects, including fanning violent extremism, a case in point being last weekend's fall attack at Central Police Station in Mombasa. Whoever who is found facilitating in the making or making, possessing, distributing, or exhibiting such films at any exhibition or through any local medium, that will be dealt with the, by the full force of the law. Also, a poor sewerage systems in major towns has seen Tana Water and Services Board set aside 4 billion shillings that will be used in the expansion and upgrade of sewer systems in a number of major towns. Towns in Muranga, Kirinyaga and Meru counties are among those that will be given priority. National Lands Commission Chairperson Mohamed Suzuri has ordered two groups wrangling over the ownership of a 1,200 hectares land in Matungulu Machakos County to produce documents proving the same. Two factions, both registered under the name Comarok Housing Society, claims to be the legitimate owners of the land. And three dormitories worth 18 million shillings have been constructed at a public primary school in Nkoila Village, Kajiado Central Sub County, in a move to boost education uptake in the area. Nkoile primary school is the only public learning institution in the area that mainly comprises pastoralist communities. Over 100 girls in West Pokot region have graduated from an alternative rite of passage after being rescued from the retrogressive practices of early marriage and female genital mutilation. The girls successfully completed a six-month mentorship and life skills training program. Finally, thousands of Kenyan schoolgirls will benefit from a French foundation that is supplying sanitary towels in the underdeveloped countries, according to the founder of School Wash and MHM, Sally Piper Piliteri. Her foundation has been running capacity building programs and supplying sanitary related material to schoolgirls. Caroline Kamar reporting for Channel One News Hour.